Well, this has been quite the party. No, I think it's great. They chose a great place. It's gorgeous. The catering is, is terrific. The decoration. Everybody's having a good time. This is this is one of the better wedding receptions I've been to, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> well, for starters, I don't think I've been to a lot of receptions where the champagne is this good. I, I've had a good time with you here. I had a good time. Although, look, I'm going to tell you, I think that your definition of what a small reception looks like and my definition, I don't think they really connect. <laughs> well, okay, so for me, a small reception would be, <laughs> would be like the two families and maybe a couple close friends, a couple groomsmen, a couple bridesmaids, and that's it, right? That to me is a small wedding reception. This there's got to be, what, like 200 people here? I'll tell you this much, if everybody brought them a present, they probably got everything on their registry and more. <laughs> no, I've had a really good time. Although, I am starting to think that maybe you may have misled me a little bit to get me to come. <laughs> because in whose book is this a small reception? Oh, baloney, you brought me here under false pretenses. You mean like the little white lie you told your family about me being your boyfriend? <laughs> no, I thought it was funny, actually. I don't mind at all. I'm not insulted. And I'm not mad about this. Okay, don't, don't mistake my giving you a little bit of grief for being actually upset. Okay, this has been a beautiful day. The wedding, gorgeous. The, uh, the reception, so much fun. The music's great. The catering, the champagne, everything's... <laughs> What's to be mad about? I mean, you, you used me to tell your family a little white lie. You used your family to tell me one, too. Sounds like it's fair to me. <laughs> you don't need to feel bad at all. I'm not upset in the slightest. I, I actually think it's really special. It's flattering that... You asked me to come support your brother and his and his uh, bride. What's her name? Yeah, to support them on on their special day. This is a it, it's it's a family day, and it's been a lot of fun to be part of it. So no, you don't have to feel bad at all. I, I you know, you could always make it up to me. Well, in that case, I insist you make it up to me. I'm mad, very mad. So mad. And the only way I'm going to forgive you is if you have a dance with me later. What do you mean you can't? <laughs> College wasn't that long ago. You can't have forgotten everything from those classes already. No, I remember how you were. <laughs> My feet remember how you were. <laughs> you are not as bad as you like to think. And besides, you know, there's a reason I kept signing up for those dance classes with you. Those are some of my best memories. Yeah. Well, besides, here, if you're really self-conscious about it, check that guy out over there. No, 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 look where I'm pointing. That guy. Mm-hmm, right there. With the red tie? Yeah. What? That, that's your uncle? Jeez, maybe I shouldn't say what I was going to. <laughs> well, he's clearly been enjoying the uh, beverages. <laughs> maybe a little bit too freely. Oh, there is no possible way you're going to step on my toes more than he's doing. Is that your Andy's dancing with? Jeez. Her feet are going to hurt tomorrow. <laughs> So, yeah, dance later, you promise me? Otherwise, I'll never forgive you. You got that? <laughs> uh, this has been fun. It really has. You know, sometimes I get a little bit eh, tired of these kind of events. Uh, just big gatherings that take up a lot of the day. I, I kind of just get burned out after a while, and it kind of you know, want to get back to my my own place, decompress a little bit, unwind, you know. But no, this has been, um, this has been a lot of fun. 
I'm still here, aren't I? <laughs> this has been this has been great. This has been great. You know, I have been wondering though. I mean, don't take this the wrong way, but why me? I, yeah, I get that you needed a fake boyfriend and everything. That I, I get that. But I mean, there's like don't don't get me wrong. I, I'm I'm happy to be here. You know, I'm I'm having the time of my life. I'm just a little bit shocked that uh, out of all the guys we work with, that that you picked me. What haven't I noticed? I'm not trying to be funny. I legitimately don't know what you're talking about. What have I not picked up on? Mm. Sure, I mean, I, I always I thought it was very considerate that whenever you went down to get coffee, you brought me one. What are you talking about? I influence your Spotify playlist. Is that not the music you listen to anyway? Well, yeah, we got a long friendship. We got a lot of rapport. I mean... Really? No, I... I, I, I <laughs> no, I just... I had no idea you felt that way. I mean, if I was shocked that you asked me to be your fake boyfriend, I'm... <laughs> no, I, I'm even more shocked to hear this. How long have you had feelings for me? Really? No, I, I... I guess I didn't... I didn't think that... Well, I mean, obviously we're friends and... Well, now that you put it that way, yeah, I can, I can see it. I just never put two and two together, I guess. And I get that. I was with her for a long time. Well, yeah, the timing does make sense now. Now, I wondered if you were asking me to be your fake boyfriend more because you thought that I might be broken up over things, but... You know, I really appreciate you um, being respectful of, of that relationship uh, by not making a move. It, it must have been really hard. I'm going to confess something to you. Maybe it's not going out on a limb as far as it would have been, but this is still... I'm still just dealing with the shock here. Um, she and I were together for a while, right? Did you hear why I broke up with her? Yeah, that's a story that I let leak out there. But no, it's, it's complete garbage. Well, the real reason that I broke up with her is because I found that I had developed feelings for you. I, you know, I, I didn't want to hurt her by staying in a relationship that my heart wasn't in. And I wanted to hopefully see if, uh, if there was anything between you and me. Well, I mean, this makes me even more glad that you invited me because, gosh, I don't know, maybe a couple of glasses of champagne loosened us both up enough to talk about this. <laughs> it's good to have this out in the open. Um, yeah. That's a relief, for starters. Because now, now I know how you feel. Up until now, I thought it was just me. It's nice to know that my feelings are, uh, are, uh, not unrequited.
Yeah, I'd like that a lot. I'll tell you what, let's you and I go over to the dance floor together. We can uh, have that dance. A few more if we're uh, if we're up for it, and um, we can keep talking about all this with your arms around my neck. Sound good to you? <laughs>